We now know what led to a deadly shooting right near one of Philadelphia's most iconic landmarks. Authorities said today they believe Saturday night's confrontation near Independence Hall was the result of road rage. Today, investigators still trying to sort out all the details. It is Monday afternoon. I'm Brian Tapp. And I'm Shari Williams. And for Sarah, the big story on Action News is this investigation into that shooting at a busy intersection in Old City. A 29-year-old man on a motorcycle is dead after being shot by another driver. That driver also wounded. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live near that scene in Old City now with more on all we've learned today. Maggie. I mean, it is one of the most popular tourist destinations. This is the birthplace of our nation. So it was really shocking to hear that a shooting like this happened right outside of Independence Hall. Well, now investigators are trying to work out the details, whether if a crime happened or not. And of course, they still have a lot of video footage to look through. A picturesque landmark location, a hot spot for tourism, the cradle of freedom. Fifth and Chestnut is the home of Independence Hall, and on Saturday night, it was at the center of a fatal shooting investigation. Police say the motorbike lying on the cobblestones belonged to 29-year-old Angel Luis Rios Jr. He was fatally shot twice in the abdomen just after 9 p.m. Police say Rios and a number of other motorbike riders were involved in a road rage incident with the driver of this white Cadillac riddled with bullet holes. According to investigators, the driver of the Cadillac opened fire, killing Rios, then drove himself to Pennsylvania Hospital after a 24-year-old biker shot back, hitting the driver in the arm. And I can tell you that what clearly started as some kind of a dispute that one would hope would never turn into shots fired turned into a lot of shots fired. At this point, no charges have been filed against any party. DA Larry Krasner wouldn't say if either shooter was licensed to carry, but did well, say I this. Tell you that an awful lot of people uh, were traveling in cars or motorcycles with guns. Uh, an awful lot of people had no trouble at all getting permits to carry, and that's a problem. Today, the intersection is a welcome spot for tourists after such a violent incident. This is it just a special special location within the city yeah. and you sort of hate to see that kind of activity going on anywhere but especially here. Again as of right now no charges have been filed. This investigation is very active and ongoing. We're live outside of Independence Hall. We're in Old City. Maggie Kent Channel 6 Action News. Brian.